Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I'm reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading Satellite Office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Thursday, August the 30th, 2012, and here's today's midday market update. I want to make this little quick video short and sweet for you guys here. Market is hanging around the 1400 level. We did hit a low of 13.95. We did hit a low of 1395.25 on the ES, which was right there at Friday's lows from last week here. You can see how they're trying to hold that key trend line that I've been highlighting, highlighting to you guys from the past couple of after the bell market summary videos. Actually, I've been highlighting that key trend line ever since we've been holding it right here. But in any case, here you can see how we have a nice little sell-off today. They recovered it right back up here. And as we continue to hold above that trend line, today's action could be a nice little shakeout. And if we continue to hold above 1400 then we're going to probably try to trade back up here towards 1420 We'll go over that analysis later on after the close and after the bell market summary. If you guys want access to that, make sure you go to our website, wallstreettrading.com. Click on the top right tab, My Wall Street TV, and you can see all the videos there. In any case, we're going to be watching to see if we can get a nice close above 1400 If we close above 1400 then this, today's action was just a shakeout, and then we're going to need some follow-through for the bulls to come back and take control and take us back above today's highs, which currently stands at 1402.75. We take a look at the intraday analysis on the take a look at the intraday analysis on the ES here. Let me load up the drawings real quick for you guys. You can see here I talked about the 14. I highlighted the fact that the 1411 and 1404 area was a range that we were trading in all overnight. This this has been the choppy range action that we've been getting for the past couple of days here. All right, and then this morning I tweeted out that if we hold below 1404, you want to expect some selling pressure for the fact we have a possible bull trap that took place in the afternoon here. Sold off overnight sideways action here, which is indicative of a bear flag, and then we got that little crack down this morning. So that played out to the T. A couple stocks in play today. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at this finish, take a look at this ES chart. So what you want to watch for, if we can get back above the 1400 level, if we can get back above 1401 or so, then we can rally back up towards 1404. If we trade back below 1397 and start holding below 1397, then we're going to go back down towards 1395. Those are your levels to watch, and we'll have to pay pay uh, close attention to those levels and see what happens. Taking a look at Amazon. All right, taking a look at Amazon on the intraday time frame. Let me get rid of these. Let me get rid of the extended session here. Taking a look at Amazon. Amazon broke out. Ugly pattern on this right here. This was just ugly. I mean, we broke out, made new highs, and we probably have a possible reversal. A lot of people that bought above 247 or so are currently trapped in their longs if they're holding them still. And this is not good. This is not healthy. This shows that there are sales in the market. You know, I believe this... I believe that uh, you know if we do not get back above 247 by the close of the day on Amazon, that this stock you know has further downside to go now, and a lot of people are trapped, just like people could be trapped in the market if the ES breaks below 1400 and holds below 1400 and gets a close below 1400 near the lows of 1395 or so. Uh, let me take a look at Apple. I didn't get a chance to take a look at Apple because I. not a big fan of trading Apple. It's pretty expensive. In any case, Apple's looking weak as well. All right, you have a nice little range right here that it's been in for the past three days or so. Gap down a little bit today, and it's been selling off ever since. This is a 15-minute chart, by the way. So that's not looking good. Um, taking a look at the different ETF indexes here. IWM is down 75 cents. It's pretty weak on the on the small caps after they, after they showed some decent strength yesterday. Um, the Qs are down 0.70, down 1% or so. Taking a look at the SPY, the SPY is down 70%. Low of the day on SPY is 140.20. We're still holding the key level of 140 on the SPY for you home gamers out there that watch the SPY entry day. And so far, you know, we just have to be uh, have to be on the safe side and and make sure we don't get too out of hand watching this market. All right, let me go to take a look at the dollar. The dollar had, dollar had a nice move up today. That's part of the reason why we're having this selling pressure as well. You see copper sold off a little bit here today. The euro just got dumped out right here. All right, nice little head and shoulders pattern that took place around this 1.254 level. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, sell off. Taking a look at the volatility, nice little spike in the volatility. Still trading below the opening price here. If, you know, if we expect the market to maybe get some selling pressure again tomorrow, I want to see the volatility try to make a move up going to the close. If not, then, you know, and we hold the 1400 level, then this was just a little shake and bake action, trying to shake out the week longs. So we'll see how it plays out. Hope you guys are having a great day today. And um, that's really about it, guys. I'll catch you guys after the close for the After the Bell Market Summary. Make sure you make your way to our chat room, mywallstreettv.com. Password or login is smart. Make sure you go to the website, wallstreettrading.com. 
and fill out the form on the right hand side to get any more updates that we have to send out to our followers which we do have a couple followers you can follow us on Facebook at Wall Street Trading you can follow us on Twitter at Wall Street Trade and you can follow us via the blog that we have on our website so have a great day guys and I'll definitely catch you guys later on after the close later